<laughs> like, be graceful about it. Just come and stand here together. You better go shake your father-in-law's hand, be sure he's all right with us. You can stand right out here in front, yeah. Very good. Written vows of matrimony between Darian Ponte and Corey Trimble. How really very moving it is to do this so simply here with just family and uh, the spirits of those that are with us, surely. Darren and Corey were brought together by love and we rejoice with them in this moment of solemn matrimony, which will surely be better, one of the best days of their lives. We have an opening prayer from the wedding mass. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these your servants, Doreen and Corey, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through Christ our Lord, Lord, amen. As we stand here on this beach of the House of Refuge, we can look eastward across the sparkling waters of the Atlantic. As we look to the far north and scan the horizon down to the south, we can see the actual curvature of the earth. It's never not awe-inspiring to recognize that when you're on the sea like this with such an unobstructed view. But in many ways, it also represents the long arc of Darren and Corey's relationship. I think everybody knows that they first met in high school. And it was seven, several years later, in fact, almost six years, more than six years ago, that while on their very first date, they walked here to the House of Refuge, having no idea then that they would be standing here today about to exchange their vows of matrimony. Doreen, Corey, when we met, we talked about your, the long arc of your courtship, and you spoke about events in your lives that touched me. I thought about uh, what would have happened if Doreen had wandered far with the elephants, or if Corey had not had his Chinese epiphany. And I thought of a passage from a best-selling novel by Louis de Bernays. It's called Captain Corelli's Mandolin. And it, it seems in a very short verse to describe 
your beautiful love story. Love is temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And even when the blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. You know, feelings come alive at weddings. There's just something special about a wedding. It goes to the very heart of life itself. It's, uh, we know that something is about to happen. Today, something is gone forever. And something else is born brand new and tender. The love and the commitment that you feel for each other today is something to be nurtured and cared for, protected, cherished, and strengthened day by day. And so now we ask, who gives this woman to be married to this man? Mother and I. And I hear two voices and a friend of the family. <laughs> That can't be my phone. I'm sorry. It's okay. And now uh, take each other's hands. Maybe we could pass the bouquet. Yeah, we'll have the mother hold that for you until she needs it. And I will ask you, Corey, do you take Doreen to be your lawfully wedded wife? to have and to hold in sickness and health, to love, honor, and respect in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself solely unto her as an equally enduring partner in all that you do for the rest of your lives. I do. And Doreen, do you take Corey to be your lawfully wedded husband? to have and to hold in sickness and health, to love, honor, and respect in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself solely unto him as equal and enduring partners in all that you do for the rest of your lives. I do. All right. <laughs> May we now have the rings. Very good. I like that. Hmm. I'll get this one for you to hold on. Just hold on to it. <clears throat> Darren and Corey have chosen these rings as a symbol of their marriage. The ring is a symbol that goes back to the most ancient of times. It's round and unending everlasting, and it's an outward symbol to the rest of the world of the commitment that you're making to each other here today. Corey, take this ring and place it upon Darren's finger, and as you do, please repeat these words. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness as a sign of my love and faithfulness. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a promise of wedded love and devotion. As a promise of wedded love and devotion. Darren, please place your ring upon Corey's finger. And as you do, repeat these words after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a promise of wedded love and devotion. As a promise of wedded love and devotion. 
Very good. You know, as we stand here by the seashore, we talked about a little bit, and I'm reminded of the fisherman's knot. We talk about tying the knot. What could be more appropriate than standing here in the shadow of this historical building where many fishermen came ashore for refuge, probably pulled by rope, by a knot that was sure and fast and hard, the fisherman's knot. And it's a knot that binds you together here today. So in your future, when you look out upon these beaches or when you're out on your boat and you're tying a knot, you can think of the knot you have tied here today. Darren and Corey, you've declared your intent. You have symbolized the commitments with the exchange of rings. And now we ask that you exchange your vows. Corey, please repeat after me. Darren, I choose you to be my wife. Darren, I choose you to be my wife. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to unite with you. I promise to unite with you. And to share all that is to come. And to share all that is to come. To learn with you and grow old with you. To learn with you and grow old with you. Even as time and life changes us both. Even as time and life changes us both. To cherish and respect you as an individual. To cherish and respect you as an individual. To laugh with you in good times. To laugh with you in good times. And struggle alongside you in bad. And struggle alongside you in bad. To inspire and to respond. To inspire and to respond. And in all aspects of our life together. And in all aspects of our life together. To be faithful and loyal to you. To be faithful and loyal to you. Forever and always. Forever and always. Duren, please repeat after me. Corey, I choose you to be my husband. Corey, I choose you to be my husband. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to reunite with you and to share all that is to come. I promise to unite with you and share all that is to come. To learn with you and grow old with you. To learn with you and grow old with you. Even as time and life change us both. Even as time and life change us both. To laugh with you in good times. To laugh with you in good times. And struggle alongside you in bad. And struggle alongside you in bad. To inspire and to respond. To inspire and to respond. And in all aspects of our life together. And in all aspects of our life together. To be faithful and loyal to you. To be faithful and loyal to you. Forever and always. Forever and always. Darren and Corey, you have pledged yourselves to one another, exchanged your rings, spoken your vows to one another. And now by the solemn powers vested in me by the state of Florida, I hereby declare you are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. By way of a benediction, asking for God's blessing on this occasion, here are some beautiful words from the Apostle Paul in the New Testament that define the true meaning of love appropriate to both our lovers as well as to the families of loved ones present. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. Love is patient and kind. 
Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. So now faith, hope, and love abide. These three. But the greatest of these is love. Amen. As newlyweds, it is my honor to be the first to present you as Corey and Darren Trimble, husband and wife. That's the question. Now what do we do? 